Hi Aries, welcome to my channel. This is a Do They Miss You reading. This will be a seven card spread, having a look to see if there's an ex or someone from your past that is missing you, thinking about you, and possibly if there is a chance for reconciliation between the two of you. Some messages will apply, some will not. This could be all one person, or there could be little extracts, um, bits and pieces from a few people you have dealt with. So please keep that in mind. For private readings, all the information you require is below in the show more section, along with the name of this deck for those interested. Otherwise, thank you so much for being here. Let's get straight into it and see if there is someone missing you. Who Okay, the Three of Wands, Aries, Sagittarius or Leo energy coming up with the Three of Wands here. This is someone that feels like you're involved in their future or they're trying to move on to their future. They're looking further afield. They're looking further out. I feel like someone around you is doing a bit of soul searching. If it's not internal, I feel like they're searching for you, Aries. Um, I feel like this person is going to come back in your distant future. Maybe not right now. Maybe not in your immediate future. But I almost feel like you're going to be a part of their journey again um, in some way here. So maybe it's friendship. Maybe the two of you reconnect years from now. Um, you sort of uh, bump into each other and it's a very fleeting um, meeting. Or maybe for some, there's a relationship. But I honestly feel like with the three of ones, the two of you will be connected again. Um, if this is a third party situation, if there was deceit, um, or there was someone else involved, another fire sign involved um, that you left them for or they left you for. I feel like um, in a lot of ways this person reminds them of you. Now I'm not sure if this is personality, traits, characteristics, mannerisms, idiosyncrasies or anything like that. But I feel like, you know, there's certain tendencies this person, this new person has that reminds them of you. Um, I also feel like, as I said, you may be rekindling with this person in some way He Aries, because three, there's three ones, there's three people involved here, there's three ones that stand ahead that um, you will cross paths with again in the future is what I see with the three of ones. And it could be that they're actually still in a relationship or they still have someone else when they come back to you, Aries. Um, so be careful, you know, make sure this person is sincere and they're ready to commit to you if this is the case, if you're coming from a situation where you felt they were dishonest or you felt there was a little bit of, um, you know, lack of, lack of honesty, you know, sincerity or commitment to you as well. So just be mindful with the three of ones. Um, but I do think some are trying to move on, trying to move on further afield and wanting new beginnings. Okay, the Knight of Wands, more fire energy, Aries, Sagittarius or Leo again. The Knight of Wands is fueled by impulse. So someone feels impulsive about their future um, or impulsive about how they see their future with or without you, he Aries, um, is what I'm seeing with the Knight of Wands. I feel like it's someone is acting on impulse or desire. Again, I feel there's someone else involved here with the three, so I feel like just be mindful if it is a fire sign uh, coming through here because they may have someone else that's next to them, behind them, around them in their life in some way. So I feel as though this could be another person involved in a situation here. But the Knight of Wands is, is passion, it is lust, so I feel like someone is missing the physical intimacy, the chemistry that you had. Um, maybe someone is longing to rekindle you know, a night of romance or a night of passion. Um, but the Knight of Wands is speaking about passion and he does act on impulse. So I feel like someone is being a little bit impulsive here. Um, you know, there's also movement. He's a messenger. He's a traveler uh, or she or if whoever you're dealing with here. But I honestly feel like someone's trying to move forward. This person, for some, this person is going to move further away from you. Geographical distance will actually help them heal in a way, um, is what I'm gathering here from these two cards. So trying to move away from you, maybe because you're involved with someone else now, Aries, and it pains them to see you with this person and they feel like they need to move, they need to physically move away. Okay, the Page of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo here. 
The Page of Pentacles, there's someone still watching you um, is what I'm seeing here. There's someone that still has their eye on you. Now, I'm not sure if you're still connected. You still see each other on a day-to-day -day basis through finance, through career, through money, because the Pentacles do traditionally denote money, material wealth, assets. So I'm not sure if you have combined assets um, or you receive alimony, for example, or you're still connected because you have children um, or investments. There's still assets under both joined both under your names um, but I feel with the page of pentacles it could be an earth sign that's still watching you um, I feel like they're they're watching you from a distance there's a lot of admiration still here um, Aries so I feel like they're admiring you either admiring your beauty admiring your courage to move on or admiring a new relationship um, that you have here and they're sort of sitting back and, and you know they're having their eye they have their eye on you and they're sort of admiring um, or observing, you know, there's an owl here. So there's a lot of, this is someone that's gaining more information about you in some way. I'm not sure if you still have mutual friends with this person and there's a mutual earth sign friend that may be telling this person um, about you or what you've been up to um, or passing on some sort of information. Um, I don't think it's like malicious or it's gossip-like. I think they're just passing comments about you, but this person is definitely taking them, thinking about them. There's a lot of observation that's happening, so I definitely feel someone is still watching you, um, either through social media, either you work together, but there's someone that's still fixated on you. Um, there's still a crush is what I'm seeing here. I'm not sure if it's a very deep connection, but I still feel like this person still has feelings for you on, on, on some level here. Um, I'm not sure about the intensity, but I definitely feel with the Page of Pentacles, this is admiration. Um, and maybe they're sitting on top of an offer feeling hopeful um, because they're sitting on an idea is what I'm seeing here uh, with the Page. I feel like this card wanted to pop out. Okay, the two of ones. Fire, energy, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo coming back again. Uh, you know, there's something with the two. I'm not sure if some of you had a relationship here that was a long distance relationship or geographical distance had separated you or if you've ever had anyone you've been connected to that was foreign that came um, from further away or there was distance created between the two of you. This person is coming up. Um, I feel like you know, something about distance or possibly seeing each other in travels or meeting up during traveling or bumping into each other through travel somehow. But the two of ones with the three of ones, I feel like if the, for those that have had a third party situation, this person is still thinking about you. They may be settled down with someone else here, Aries, but that doesn't mean that then you're not passing their, um, their thoughts because I think you certainly are. There's three fire cards here, so I definitely feel someone is thinking about you um, or reminiscing you. There is a longing or a missing, I think. Um, although I don't feel it's overly intense, um, I think it's just little things that are making them miss you, Aries. Um, but the two of ones, I feel as though sometimes they're in two minds about what they've done or your connection. Um, either they're questioning why they went out with you or they're questioning, will you get back together? You know, there's there's contemplation. There's a lot of observation and contemplation that's happening with this person, I feel. Um, you know, or they're trying to think what they learned from you, for example. Okay, then the magician. For those that have dealt with an Aries, this person is coming through. I feel like with the magician... Someone does want a new start with you. I definitely feel it's a fire sign. It could be a fellow Aries, but I do, seeing this card with the Magician, I really feel like someone's wanting a second chance with you because the Magician is the bringer of um, manifestations. He makes things happen. He initiates new beginnings, new journeys, new ventures. It's interesting, he's perched up the top of this um, stump here, so I almost feel like someone is ready to either make you an offer or ready to leap into the future here. I feel like they're ready to soar. Um, they're ready to move away in some regard here. So I feel for a lot of you, if it is a fire sign, I feel like they're still thinking about you, but they're ready to move on, but little do they know, or little do you know that 
The two of you will actually reconnect in the distant future in some aspect here. I really feel strongly about this. I think it's come up, this notion has come up in three cards here um, of a possible reconciliation. But again, it's not in the immediate future. For some, although it may be, for others, I definitely feel it's in the distant future that the two of you will rekindle. Um, you know, there's wings here. It's wings are fragility. Wings are mutable energy, so anything can change. I feel like go, you know, things are fluid, things are going with the flow type thing. This is how they're feeling. Um, but with the magician, I also I always feel like some of them are trying to um, reel you back in with some sort of display or performance. Like I almost feel like they're doing things over the top to get your attention somehow, whether it's to manipulate you um, or sort of. Um, you know, agitate you in a way or irritate you or frustrate you or whether it's to impress you, please you um, and get your attention. There's definitely some sort of act that's happening that is associated with the magician. Um, okay, the next card, the Empress. More, sun, more fire energy here. Someone is undergoing change, metamorphosis. They're still very attracted to you. I still feel like some of reflecting back on fond memories, you know, the Empress is this beautiful energy of uh, butterflies, the earth, it's it's cosmic energy, it's um, it's a goddess entity or godlike entity. Um, so I feel like someone places a lot of rev uh, reverence on you. Um, I almost feel like you're a source of inspiration for them or they draw comparison to the people they're currently dating or they will date in the future because as I said, you'll always be by their side somewhere here, Aries. And I honestly think that this person will always draw comparison to you, um, to your standards, to how you were as a partner, to your preferences, um, your level of commitment, how you were as a lover. I feel like they'll always be, they'll always compare other people to you in a way. Um, And, you know, I almost feel like someone feels like you're beyond their reach now. So I'm not sure if you've moved away or there's geographical distance that's coming into play here. If you've sort of left them and you've flown away and you've done your own thing and you've become independent. But I feel like they're still, you know, they're still hopeful. Um, but I think someone is undergoing some sort of metamorphosis, whether it's you or them. I feel like with the Empress, she brings change. She brings beautiful change, though. So I feel like someone is undergoing some sort of journey um, with the Empress card. Okay, the Nine of Swords, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius energy here. Nine of Swords is anxiousness. It's uncertainty. Um, this is a contrast here, though. I think in some aspects, this could be two different people. Um, and one feels anxious, anxious about what's to come, um, is lacking clarity about how your relationship ended, um, is undergoing a whirlwind of emotion. I feel like they're almost spiraling out of control in their thoughts or their thoughts are spiraling. Um, whilst for others, if it's the Empress here, I feel as though someone is hopeful that the sun will come out again and then you will grace them with your presence. So I really feel like some, there's a lot of idolatry, respect and reverence coming um, in from this person. It doesn't necessarily have to be a fire sign, but I honestly think it could be different people here um, or they're sort of battling in their minds between two different thoughts. Sometimes they feel hopeful that you'll change or they'll change and the two of you could come back and have this new beginning. Whilst for others, I feel like someone feels you know, anxious with the mention of your name. They feel uncertain. They feel uneasy. They're not ready to talk to anyone about your relationship still, you know. Um, or I think there's like fear about what you'll say about them or what they'll say about you, um, Aries, you know, because in this, you know, the Nine of Swords is, is preempting a certain situation. It's presumptions. It's assumptions. It's feeling like you're not sure how some what someone will say about you or about your relationship. So it's this, it's this certain uneasiness that's sitting with someone that is um, around you or that you once were connected to. I will leave it at that though, Aries. I hope this has been insightful. Thank you so much for watching.